heats number four to complete the first block of races. And uh, we will see for the first time of the evening last year's winner, of course, Max Frick, who was in sparkling form here 12 months ago. Really was uh, an extraordinary performance. Jason Doyle is... Uh, had a lot talked about Jason Doyle over the past couple of seasons. Can he recapture the form that saw him pick up his world championship in 2017? I suggest he may just be getting back to that. Kim Nielsen on the inside then in the red helmet colour. Max Frick in gate number two in blue. Gate number three in white is Jason Doyle and off the outside Freddie Lindgren in yellow who was spectacular yesterday yeah, in qualifying. Fantastic. He really isn't renowned for his qualifying speed at all but yesterday just blew everybody away. Yeah, he did. Uh, Jason Doyle there in white. He's got to come off gate three, which is uh, so far the, the, the gate that's only scored a couple of points. And he's, either side of him, he's got two previous winners of this event. So he's going to have to be on top form here from the start. He will indeed. Heat number four. Takes up. We're underway. Charging into the first turn. It's tight four abreast. Lingwin right round the outside, but Doyle's there. What a first quarter. He meant business there. There was no way Lingwin was going to come round him. And he stamped his authority on that first corner. But Lingwin, Lingwin's coming on strong. Fricks back in third with Kim Nielsen out the back. Lingwin round the inside. Is he going to get it? He has. What a turn. Now Doyle back. Fabulous speedway here. I said you what, Freddie Lingwin anticipated that move back from Jason Doyle. He knows Jason Doyle's a hard charger. He left the room, and it's a good job he did because there were no brakes coming on for Jason Doyle. But this is another fantastic scrap. And I've got a feeling that Freddie's got something left in the locker here. Here we go, then, one last lap. Freddie Lingwin all over the back wheel of Jason Doyle, right round the inside. One last blast down the back straight, but Doyle just about got it under control. Frick's roaring round the outside in third. Terrific race of Speedway there. Fabulous four laps. But Jason Doyle, after a great first corner, coming under immense pressure from Freddie Lingwin in second place. But he hangs on to win his first ride of the evening. Frick back in third. Fabulous speedway action once again in heat number four. I was just saying how bad gate three was, wasn't I? Yeah, OK, mate. Yeah, we'll try and forget that. For, uh, I don't think a lot of people will, mind. But Jason Doyle, three points. Freddie Lingwin in second place, too. Max Frick back in third. And um, uh, there we see the uh, point scores after the opening four heats. Terrific speedway already. Kim Nielsen misses out in uh, heat number four. Winners so far is Dan Bewley, Doyle, Mickelson and Jack Holder. So it's been a breathless start, hasn't it? It really has yeah, been action-packed and uh, there's no doubt that heat number four also lift up to expectation. Yeah, Jason Doyle just about made the best start, but boy did he have to work hard in the first turn. He knew he'd got to stop the run from gate four. Uh, Freddie Lingren just coming around the outside and he knew he would have speed. Fastest man yesterday in qualifying. Uh, Max Frick there just pinning down. Kim Nielsen does a good job there just to stop him on the inside. But all the action's going on up front there with uh, Jason Doyle having to work so hard. We can see here Freddie Lingren realises he's got no space to get around the outside. It was a great move from him. But uh, Jason Doyle just makes the cutback going into the corner and Freddie just has to stand the bike up. I can't turn because Jason Doyle is not going to stop. No, it was a great bit of speedway there. Uh, quick thinking from both riders. Um, uh, smart move initially by Lingren round the inside, wasn't it? And then just that chop back immediately coming back up the inside. So it uh, was uh, a good opening ride from all four riders, no doubt about that.